Hello, hello, everybody. I'm popping on to tell you guys about the September Epic Box. Um, so if you are somebody who got that big box, I am so grateful um, and excited that you're going to be cooking up some meals. I'd be grateful if you'd share pictures. Um, but for others, I know I have been posting and I've been getting some questions. So I thought, oh my gosh, I have to share more. And literally as I was finishing up dinner for tonight, making meals, I thought I'm just gonna take you guys along. So if you are new to this group, hello, hello, I'm Stacey Woodworth, busy mama to a 10 year old boy, um, busy working mama and wife. And we um, have just fallen in love with Epicure's 20 minute meals. And I love every month that I have meal planning figured out for me. I absolutely am in awe of those people that can figure out what they're having for the month. I love it with Epicure. I can figure this out at least for a week. I know what we're rocking. Um, though for us, it's often, these are um, two meals, if not um, dinner and lunches. So every month we get this box delivered to our door. It's great because um, it does come with this card. And so I can scan the QR code and get the shopping list and recipes. So that is so fantastic because I am on team recipe. So raise your hand if you are like me and you need the recipes, need the inspiration. Um, for the rest of you that are creative, keep posting because I love it. I love trying new things. And then I love every month that I'm reminded while this box brings my family seven meals, we are giving seven meals to the food banks in North America. So, um, Food Banks of Canada and Feeding America. So I think that's amazing. Feeding my family and then also making a difference for other families. So this month, um, if you saw my stories, Ryan was super excited because in, so always in here, what you're gonna get is seven um, meal solution packs, at least one epic surprise. That's something that's not in the catalog, a dessert and it's um, dip sample. So this month, Azteca Tortilla Soup was in here, which is not in the current catalog, but you can almost bet your bottom dollar it's coming back in next month's catalog. We love this. We make it most often actually as burrito bowls. So if you didn't see my pictures, um, you can go back up. I love this in the steamer, veggies, chicken. I did black beans and this seasoning. That's it, steamer, and then we made um, burrito for Ryan, burrito bowl for me. And then I've had now, I made two more today. Um, I've got burrito bowl salads for lunches. So it fed us two dinners and three lunches. So that's a lot, right? That's for Ryan and I. Eric is um, out of town traveling this week for dinners. So then in here, it's got some other favorites. So sweet garlic chicken. This is a crowd favorite. All of our um, packs are so great because there's recipes right on it. But again, what I love is the versatility. So any protein, any veggie, do this with fish or chicken, pork chops or um, chicken thighs. You can really do anything and use any veggie. So it has a beautiful picture with chicken and sweet potatoes. We have done chicken and normal potatoes. We have done turkey kielbasa and shrimp with bell peppers. It's just really versatile, but it has this amazing garlic flavor. So again, open pack proteins, and it makes a wonderful sheet pan dinner. Um, so many of these are actually fantastic. So I'm just gonna kind of walk you through our meal plan that I've got mapped out. Um, and I'm actually going to prep another dinner tonight. Um, and again, I'll share pictures. But in this, this month is also shepherd's pie. So I just was visiting with my friend Tracy and we made this at her house so fast before we jumped into car to do um, soccer carpool that night. Cooked it in the um, saute pan on the stove. So browned up the meat, added the seasoning and the veggies. And while that was cooking on the stove top, in the steamer, um, just dumped a whole bunch of baby potatoes, steamed them, smashed them up right in here, put it on top of the saute pan and in the oven. Dinner was 
so good. And shepherd's pie is just like the ultimate comfort food. So, so good. So that's what we're gonna do as well. We love that one and I'd love to load it up with all the veggies. Chicken souvlaki. Again, one of our favorites to just simply do um, chicken gyros for lack of a better word, where we make that chicken, put it on a pita. For me, it'll be on a salad because I'm gluten-free. But that is a fantastic meal, so full of flavor. We love this one. And then I'll do this, where I top it on salads for leftovers. So I love the idea of cooking once, eating two or three times. Hearty beef stew is back. Ugh, this was a great recipe last year that we made multiple times. On the back, it does have this fantastic beef stew, but there's a website recipe for hamburger steaks, it's called. Oh my gosh, huge flavor, huge meal that it made for us. Um, so whether I do them as meatballs this time or those, it's like a Salisbury steak type of thing. Do that again, that's already on my radar that we're making that again. Here was the epic surprise. So something we've never seen in the United States, something that's never been in our catalog, and I'm really looking forward to knowing when this is coming again, but it's called tomato and basil baked brie seasoning. So um, it's this seasoning is gonna get poured over top of a brie. So my mama is coming to town in a couple of weeks. We're gonna save this because I know that we will all enjoy that. Um, so that'll be fantastic, which is a great reminder. This as a collection would be great as a gift, but these also, these packs, you could um, keep a couple of these, bundle them up come the holiday times, and this could be stocking stuffers or gifts for um, teachers, neighbors, um, hosting gifts, all kinds of things. So anyways, that's gonna be, we're gonna enjoy that when my uh, mom and dad are in town, can't wait for that. This is what I'm gonna prep here tonight. So honey garlic meatballs. Raise your hand if you're a honey garlic meatball fan. <laughs> Ryan's raising his hand. We love this one because again, it has this amazing, there's a theme with us. We love garlic, we love sweet garlic, uh, but it is so versatile. So if you wanna do it with um, poultry meatballs, like turkey or chicken, <laughs> you can do that. You can do it with hamburger, you can do it with a mix, doesn't matter. I've also done it with chicken, bite-sized chicken pieces, and it makes this yummy sauce. Shrimp, salmon, like there's really no end to it. It is amazing. Yep, raise your hand. Thank you, friends. So what I'm gonna do tonight, again, in the spirit of meal prep, I have hamburger already thought out. I'm going to make up my meatballs and form them and have them in my steamer ready to go. Tomorrow, when we get home from work and school, it's dinner and then it's back out for soccer practice. So I'm gonna do some prep tonight so that tomorrow when we get home, it's just cook and go. So that's just a tip for you. You could also make these ahead and freeze them if that's better. But again, the meal can be put together really quickly. It's just tomorrow I need those meatballs ready to go. Um, and I was gonna make this and then I'm like, well, I can't make meatballs and show you guys all this, but you get the idea and I'll show you a picture. But we're making honey garlic meatballs tomorrow for dinner and it's gonna be in the steamer and so fast. The other one that's in here is the easy peasy bolognese, bolognese, I don't know. Um, this is one of Epicure's vegan products that has the protein included. So it is pea protein. It's got all kinds of goodies, including the nutritional yeast, B vitamins. Ladies, that is what we need for more energy. So. B vitamins packed in here, um, but it's really a meal in a pouch. So you rehydrate this protein. It's got the protein and the seasoning in there. So you can make a delicious um, vegan spaghetti sauce. Um, but again, my friend Tracy was just sharing that she made an amazing veggie lasagna. And I think my family will love that. We love the other one, the easy peasy taco seasoning. Same idea, rehydrate and makes a yummy meal. But that's what's in this epic box in terms of our meals and our epic surprise. So really excited about that. And if, again, if you've got the epic box, I would love to know what meal you're most excited about this month. And then this month's dip sample is the balsamic vinaigrette, really a fantastic salad dressing. And all of our dressings, what's great is that you control the ingredients. So the oil, um, the vinegar, of course you could also, um, 
just put this as a rub or a marinade on meat, veggies, potatoes. I know a friend that loves to put this in her smashed cauliflower. So, so many great things when you're talking about garlic, sea salt, herbs, spices, lemon, chives. Fantastic. None of the junk. None of the junk. And then for dessert, <laughs> Ryan always wants to know what's for dessert this month. Um, so we have the no bake cheesecake, which is actually interestingly, it was what Ryan was hoping was coming was one of the citrus um, desserts. So we've got this one, which is an amazing cheesecake, but we tend to do the healthier version and we just mix it into plain Greek yogurt. So then it gets this great citrus flavor, put it with blueberries, put it with cherries, and it tastes like a treat, but it is much lower in um, sugar and certainly in fat than if I were to do a traditional cheesecake or even the snow bake cheesecake. So that's what's on tap for us. So you can see how this is just gonna make meal planning super easy for us this month. And again, anyone can sign up. We take orders all month long. And then on the beginning of October, our next shipments go out. We sold out of all of our September boxes. Um, and then in October, it'll be all new things. We never know what's coming. That's part of the surprise. Um, and though every time we've just been really happy with it. Um, and again, it can be for you. It can be something that you gift. It can be something that you donate to a food pantry. We just would love to share more if this is something you have questions about, but I thought I'd just show you. Literally for us, our first meal has already resulted in, gosh, what would that be? Do the math for me, buddy. Seven servings. I've got lunches done. Um, and now I'm about to do dinner for tomorrow. So I just thought I'd show that with you guys. I hope you're having an amazing Monday and we'll talk to you soon.